Hello and welcome to how to pay off your home loan in less than 10 years. Now in this short video, I'm going to show you how. I'm going to show you the real mathematics and share with you what the banks don't want you to know. But first, I'd like to thank you for spending some time with me and congratulate you for actually deciding to work on your financial future. Now did you know that 95% of Australians never even stop and take the time to look into their financial future? And as a result, at time of retirement, they either A, they have to continue to work because they still have a mortgage and other debts. Maybe you know somebody like that. I know I do. B, they have to live off the age pension. Now it's about $660 a fortnight if you're a couple each or thereabouts, or around $800 a fortnight if you're single. Now you may feel you deserve the pension and rightly so, you know, you've been paying your taxes all your working life, but really three, $400 a week, seriously, the cost of living today, I don't call that living. Uh, C, well you could live off your super and that's what it's, it's for, right? But I'm here to tell you that very few people actually have enough or will have enough in their super at retirement. And you need to ask yourself, how much do I actually need? And the majority of people that I speak to, they tell me they need about $1,000 a week to survive in retirement. So let's roughly work that out. Okay, so here's some simple mathematics without actually taking into account drawings of super or return on investment or anything fancy like that. So let's say you retire at the age of 65 and we all know that we're in an aging population, right? We're all living longer. Um, it's not so uncommon these days for, for people to live to 90 years and, and beyond. And it's all due to advancements in, in medicine, etc. right? So let's say that's 25 years that you need to fund in retirement. What I say, $1,000 a week, $52,000 a year, times by 25 years, that's $1.3 million. Are you surprised? Most people have a lot less than that. Or there is D, you could live with your kids. Now many folks are doing exactly that as they have no choice, why? Because they're part of the 95% of people that have never stopped and worked on their financial future. Look guys, it's all about having choices. Now, I just wanna tell you that just by being here with me for the next little while, that I guarantee that you'll be well and truly in front of the vast majority of Australians that never stop and work on their financial future. Now, let me ask you this. Do you think it's right to work 40 years or so, struggling to pay off your home loan and to make ends meet? To be a slave to the job because if you don't work, you're 40 hours or so a week and you don't get paid, then you can't pay off the, the mortgage and keep the family happy? Surely that's, what, that's not what life's all about, right? Then after that, when you're supposed to be in your twilight years and you're gonna live the last 25 years of your life in poverty or thereabouts, guys, look, the reason I'm talking about this fact of reality with such passion is I'm about helping people not follow the sheep and actually become the 5% of people that become wealthy. Actually become either comfortable or wealthy before retirement. Now, I've spent my entire career learning and mastering my craft, specializing in finance and property and, and helping people achieve wealth. Now, I believe it's uh, 25 years in the making, and I'm here to share it with you. Uh, and importantly, I think it's my role to help people take responsibility and ownership of their own financial life. And I wanna help guide them to make informed choices. Now, what I'm gonna share with you in this video, I guarantee you it's gonna blow your mind, okay? So please grab a pen and paper and, and take some notes because this is super informative. And don't worry if you miss anything, Look, the, the whole idea is to give you enough information so you can understand the process and then you can make an appointment if you choose to discuss further and decide if the timing is right for you or not. So what you wanna do is pay off your home loan quickly because the longer that you have the loan, the longer you're gonna be a slave to it, really, okay? So the only way, uh, and let's be real, the only way you're gonna pay off your home loan sooner is if you pay more money towards it, right? And this is how you're gonna do it. I'm gonna share with you, and it's without getting a second or third job or working ridiculous overtime, okay? And like I said earlier, this is exactly what the banks don't want you to know, 
Okay, now they make billions of dollars out of having you and other people have mortgages for 30 years. And most people refinance their loan every four years or so, and, and guess what? They take out a loan at a better rate and good on them, but wait for it, for another 30 years. So in fact, their loan's longer than 30 years. Oh, and you need a new car or a new boat or a holiday? Well, just whack it on the house. Anyway, you get my drift. Look, the best way that I can um, show you this formula is to give you a real example. Okay, so this is one of my own personal clients, and I will refrain from sharing their names with you for privacy reasons, but please remember before I start, this is an example only, and we'll need to tailor one towards you that's uh, in line with your exact goals and needs, and uh, we can do that should you, should you wish to in the future. So step one, step one of this formula is you need the right type of home loan. Now, most people search for the best rate, and that's, that's fine, but the rate is not the most important. It's not as important as how much money you pay over time and interest. Now, you need a home loan that A, has an offset account attached. B, you can make unlimited extra repayments, and C, you must be able to reduce the balance, okay? Now, I'm gonna explain as we go through this little video along the way, some of the features and why they're really important, okay? So step number two, you need to increase your income. You will purchase a carefully selected, approved, positive cash flow investment property. The property will generate income greater than the cost of owning this property, okay? Um, two people will pay the repayments on that investment loan. The first person's the tenant, and the second is the tax man, the ATO. So you'll be receiving rent from the property, plus you will employ an experienced taxation accountant that understands property investment and the accountant will apply for what's called a tax variation for you. Now, um, there is a process to do that and I won't go into all the details now, but in short, because you own an investment property that earns you additional income on top of your wages, you also have additional expenses that can be legitimately claimed as tax deductions, okay? Now this includes the depreciation of the building, the depreciation of the fixtures and fittings, all loan costs, the holding costs. Now the depreciation amounts are outlined in what is called a depreciation report, quantity surveyor's report, and it's produced by a quantity surveyor. Now the end result is that you will get a tax rebate from the Australian Taxation Office, an ATO. Now, rather than wait to the end of the financial year like everybody else, get your refund, your accountant and the ATO will determine what the deduction is in line with your pay cycle, weekly, fortnightly, monthly. Then they'll instruct your employer to take less tax out of your wages. That's right, less tax, yes. So you have more money in your packet, in your pocket. Okay, um, the idea is not go party on with the extra money, right? Rather, this is the additional income that we need for the formula and to pay off your home loan. Okay, so um, let's, let's recap a little bit if we can. You've got a newly structured home loan that allows A, extra repayments, B, has an offset account, and importantly C, allows balance reductions. Now your mortgage broker will look after you for all your needs there. Now, what I've found is most people actually have these features, but they don't even realize it. So ask your broker if that's the case, okay? You've purchased a carefully selected, approved, positive cash flow investment property. And as a result, you've increased your income in these ways. You've got rental income, and you've got the tax variation, the additional income. Now, I need to let you know that in order for the Partner Alliance Group to be completely satisfied that the particular uh, investment property represents sound investment for a client, the proposed property must, must meet some guidelines, okay? And our research team will evaluate the following. It needs to, number one, have sustained capital growth. Two, high population growth. It needs to be low vacancy rates established and planned infrastructure. We need to make sure the property's within the median price point. It's got great rental yield. 
Importantly, it's tax effective, and there is what I call luxury items included, included making the house a home. So now you have some of the ingredients, let's look at the recipe. Now, Mr. and Mrs. Sample have a home currently with a balance of $400,000. They've just refinanced and took out a new home loan over 30 years at a rate of 3.99%. This is an example rate. Should they pay the monthly minimum repayment and do nothing else, they will pay $286,648,000 and it will take them 30 years. They have opted for an offset account. Now for illustrative purposes, it is bolted on the home loan. Now I want you to look at the offset account as your account that all the income goes into and you pay all your bills out of it. Now that you've purchased an investment property, not just any property, it's a carefully selected, approved, positive cash flow investment property. Let's have a look at it. Now, as you can see, it's what we call a dual living home. Now see how side one has a four bedroom home and the other side has a one bedroom home. Now these two homes are on one title and they enjoy a combined rental income of $620 per week. It's in a high growth area, currently of 11%. The location has a massive population growth, meaning people are moving there and it's in high demand. The area has lower than the national average rental vacancy rates, meaning that the property is rented 97.2% of the year. Plus, the property ticks all of our eight property selection criteria. Now the future value of this property, uh, based on the growth rate and contributing factors, should be greater than double in less than 10 years. Now that's a whole other video, but uh, I just want you to keep that in mind, okay? So let's have a look at the price of the investment property and what's called the associated costs, shall we? The house and land package. $498,990. A solicitor is going to cost you around $1,800. Now there'll be holding costs. Now I've calculated $7,000 and this is repayments on the loan while it's being built, while the home's being built. So you've got investment loan costs and this is around $900 including registration of title and mortgage, uh, valuation, uh, all the costs. Now the stamp duty on the land is 13,292. And the total price, including all costs, is $521,982. Now, let's look closely at the loans and the structure. Home loan. So the home loan has a balance of $400,000. The monthly repayments on that loan at 3.99% interest only are $1,330 per month. Investment loan. Now the investment loan is the cost of the property including all the associated costs and the holding costs, $521,982. The monthly repayments at 3.99% interest only are $1,736 per month. Also see attached to the home loan is the offset account. Now an offset account is like a savings or transaction account where money goes in and out. However, whatever amount is sitting in your offset account offsets the interest charges per month on your home loan. Now let me explain how interest is calculated. Uh, how it's actually calculated on your home loan as this may help you understand uh, why to use an offset account. Now interest is calculated daily on the home loan balance and charge once a month. If your home loan balance was $400,000, interest is calculated at the rate of 3.99% per annum and then charged once per month. Now, let's say you've got $14,000 in your offset account. The interest is calculated on 
and $86,000 for that month. So that's your $400,000 minus the 14, which is sitting in your offset account, comes to 386. So you're with me so far, guys. So the interest charge is less for the month. Now, if you then also reduce the balance on the home loan, as I'm gonna show you in a minute, plus use the offset account, there is uh, a massive knock-on effect. It's gonna reduce the amount of interest and time. Let's continue, shall we? All the income goes into this offset account and you pay all the bills from it. You will also have an interest-free credit card facility with 55 days interest-free periods. And you use this during the month to pay all your living expenses. Um, okay, so your food, uh, electricity, uh, all your bills. Now, in this scenario, the couple spend $4,000 per month on living. You know, like I said, petrol, food, entertainment, clothes, etc. So, now let's look at the income and how it's actually directed. Now, in this example, um, like I said, I'm not going to give you my client's names, but Mr. and Mrs. Sample receive rental income that is directed to the offset account. Now, for the purposes of the example, rent is $600 times by four, simply $2,400 per month. So I've used the net uh, rental income here after some expenses. Net wages, their normal combined net income for the couple without their tax variation is $11,083 per month. Now the tax variation for the couple combined is $979 per month. So if you add up the whole lot, the total amount deposited into the offset account per month is $14,462. So $14,462 goes into the offset account. And it pays the home loan, which is 1330, to the investment loan, which is 1736. We've calculated living expenses for $4,000. And the remaining balance is what's going to be a lump sum that's paid off your home loan balance. Gets paid to your home loan at $7,396. So let's enter this into the calculator and see what happens if we pay this every month. The result is you'll save $254,000 plus and your home loan now is paid in full in four years. Okay, so let's say you only pay $5,000 a month because you've got extra expenses, you've got a car loan or something like that. Let's see what that looks like. Well, you'll save $241,000 and your home loan's paid off in 5.5 years. Amazing, right? Now, this is a scenario with two incomes. And everyone has a different financial situation, right? But no matter if you're just starting out in the workforce or you're nearing retirement, we have helped people with income from, let's say, $60,000 to high net worth individuals. Now, hopefully, this little video has opened your eyes and, um, and you can see what now is possible for you and how you can pay off your home loan in record time. And if you apply our experience and expertise, you can grow wealth. This strategy sets up other wealth creation very, very quickly and allows you to magnify your wealth by investing in property in major growth areas under our guidance. But why stop at one? <laughs> you could be like many others who don't actually have to work and you can live off the rental income. Think about that. That's life changing, right? Now, the right investment property based on past performance will double every 10 years or so. The example investment property that I've given based on the growth rate will actually be worth $1.1 million in 10 years. And now if that was the only investment property that you had, you could sell that and pay out the debt. The property served its purpose. It's, it's helped you pay out your home loan in less than 10 years, example it's like five years, and then you'd pay out your investment property and you'd have a tidy little sum left over to do what you like with. Or you can continue to invest and become a professional property investor. Remember, 
at the beginning when I told you just by being here with me throughout this video that you'd be well and truly in front of the vast majority of Australians that don't stop and work on their financial future? Do you remember that? Well, they don't know what you know. They don't know that you can pay off your home loan in less than 10 years or maybe even less. And they don't know that you can build wealth through smart investing in residential property. And you know what? You do. So now what? Well, let me just put it this way. No one ever said as safe as a stock market, did they? Residential property is a lower risk and less volatile investment, but still shows the highest reward of the major asset classes. So let me ask you, what do we do now? Well, if you keep doing what you're doing, you'll keep getting what you're getting. Or you can make a positive change and at least contact us and see whether we can help you grow wealth and make sure when it comes time to retirement that you're in a much better place than the options that I presented earlier. I wanna thank you so much for your time and uh, I look forward to speaking to you in the future. Thank you.